so it's getting ready to rain and it's going to rain for on and off for about two weeks. I'm looking out 10 days. So the cool thing about uh, Apame and some of these other top feeders is you can uh, feed them without even interrupting them at all. Um, of course, you're taking the insulation off, but there's still insulation on that plastic there, so it doesn't even disturb them. Um, so I've got 2,000 milliliters. It's 1,000 milliliters of water and 1,000 of sugar, and then a little bit of Hive Alive plus uh, about an eighth of a teaspoon of um, chlorine. Google it. And they've been having that, and uh, it's worked. You'd kind of think chlorine, gross. But uh, it uh, works. And I'm going to save a little bit for my little hive. I've already put some in it. Um, I did just put some honeycomb. I did a cutout. Now their bees are going to be pissed because they're up here in the light. They don't like it. But not too many bees up here yet. But that's some honeycomb from a, a cutout. And uh, so they got some resources. Now that we got rain coming. All right, I'm in my little hive now. And the bees are, there I've got some sugar water, some that I already have made up, and they're in there. Same thing, I put some uh, honeycomb from a cutout. And now I'm gonna add the last little bit. This hive is uh, still small. They're, They started out with, uh, what I have, like four frames um, two and a half months ago, something like that. So this will get them through this storm we got going, uh, coming in tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow, um, for up to like the next 10 days, it'll be uh, rain. So there you go.